Thank you, and thank you, everybody who's joining the session, both um, physically and uh, remotely. So, yesterday morning, I went through the process that we've gone through up to date with, up to this moment, with workshops in various chapters, and we've all, all we've really been doing is collecting ideas. We've organized the ideas into um, these streams. So, oops, it's gone off the screen, but uh, this, this diagram here, uh, where we have the streams going forward up, up to five years in advance, um, and this diagram here sort of really does nothing but say these are all the ideas that are on the table as it were at the moment and they're organized into streams what we want to do today is to start to um, unpack that with two goals one to prioritize them get some sense of what our community both here and and um, in the virtual world um, uh, to get a sense of yeah, which ones you think are really important, which, you, which ones you think are not important, and then to give you the opportunity to um, add things, comment on things, uh, but it's best if we do that through the Miro board because then we have the record of that and we can take that away and it just adds to our store of knowledge and hopefully it doesn't confuse us too much as we go forward with the development of the roadmap. So, the process will be very simple. Um, we'll, we'll move away from this diagram in a minute, but before we do that, uh, John's going to explain how the Miro board works for those of you who aren't quite sure. Yeah. I'll move this forward. Yeah, so the, the link for the Miro board is in the Hopping platform. Uh, I see a number of people are actually on the Miro board. Yuha is there um, and others. So. Thanks for making your way into it. At least we know it's accessible and it, it does work. Um, if you haven't got the link through the Hopping platform, um, there is a manual version of it written on that whiteboard that Jim's just brought forwards. Um, it, you probably need to go and take a photo or uh, there's a code basically you need after the miro.com app slash board piece. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use... Uh, stick it notes so on the mirror board now over here on the left if you click on stick it notes you get a full selection of colors don't worry about um, choose any color um, and we are going to place the stick it notes on the board uh, but not where i've put that one there we're going to put them in a more sensible place because we're actually going to place votes um, against the different streams or ideas in, in each stream so here, for instance, if I can bring it onto the screen, um, are the, um, the stream that was called Consolidation Industry Training. Um, and we had quite a number of different ideas for education and training, overview of IFC 4.3 concepts, um, IFC's place in the information standards ecosystem, contractual guidelines, uh, and the like. Uh, and what we'd like you to do is to take a post-it note, a stick it note, sticky note, and place as many as you, place one in each circle against each particular idea that you think is an idea that should go forwards as part of the infrastructure room road, roadmap. So for instance, I'm gonna place a vote here in managing IFC file size for infrastructure. Um, and that's probably quite, a large stick it note, so I'll make it a bit smaller, uh, and there we go. Um, and we're going to do that against each of the, I think, the, the nine streams or so, Jim. Is that? Yep. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to concentrate on the first one first, so the stream one, consolidation and industry training. Um, it's a bit complicated because we have so many um, items there. Uh, we went through them the other day, and uh, I can go through them again, but I think most of them are self-explanatory. It's just to give us a sense of what you think are the, the major ones. And so at the end of the day, the most post-it notes in any one circle will be the one that gets the most votes. So you're simply voting. 
And if you don't think anything, anything is particularly useful or important, then you just leave it blank. You don't bother to put a post-it note in there. It's as simple and as crude as that. Um, you can add comments to your, your post-it note if you wish. Um, we'll just take it as a vote, but the comment will be useful. But uh, you can also just place comments anywhere on the Miro board. Um, so I'd suggest underneath the slide or next to the slide somewhere in the vicinity if you think you want to comment on any of the ideas there or if you want to um, add any other thoughts that you might have. Uh, so you can extend any of those ideas or you can add new ideas. We won't be voting on those new ideas, but we'll at least have a record of them. So they're things that we may have not already thought of. So this is an opportunity to create more input um, for, from wherever you are. So we'll, we'll give it a few minutes to see how that pans out with those particular ones, and that'll be our first test. And then well, uh, try not to move the circles, please. <laughs> We'll let that process run for a while and just watch what happens and then we'll take stock. So we're doing the consolidation industry trading stream to start with. Um, there's about 10 ideas, 10 proposals that came forwards for consideration in the infrastructure roadmap in that space. Um, as Jim said, place a sticky note in as many of the circles that correspond to those 10 ideas as you would like to. Um, and if you wish to make some additional suggestions, then take a stick it note and write some comments on it for what you think would be a good and useful piece of industry training that the Infrastructure Room Steering Committee could look to promote through its roadmap over the next um, five years. Of course, I should make the comment just while you're doing that, that... Um the, this stream is about um, consolidation. You know, how, how do we actually communicate out to our community around issues of concern? But it ties very closely to the later one, which is white papers. And many of these items would need to be explored um, you know, through a white paper development process before we can then put that out in a succinct uh, piece of document. But my or well, our thought was, I shouldn't say my, but our thought was that a uh, user guide would be just a bit like the guides that, that come out from um, institutions like the Engineers or Architects Association, or whatever, where they, where they publish one or two page, three page notes to um, help their community to understand and to be informed. We're envisioning the same kind of output through this process. So these are really these um, brief guideline notes is the idea. Okay, how are we going with that? Do, do we? Yeah, it... we, we could probably move on to the second work so, stream. Well, let's just take stock very quickly. Yeah. So, um, whoops, we, I need to zoom out a little bit. So overview of IFC 4.3 concepts for end users, that's kind of an obvious um, favorite. Some of the ones at the bottom have got a fair bit of support. So what's this one? Disney Creator is sitting on top of it at the moment. Yeah. Uh, that was the role of the Building Smart Data Dictionary, I think. Right, yeah. right, yes. That was a popular one. Yeah, and likewise, yeah. the next one's probably yeah. fairly popular. Uh, okay. Application of IDS and the UCM system, Infrastructure Works, is a popular one. Okay, very good. Does anyone want to um, raise any questions or comments about that? Is the process working for you? Right. Okay, right. Okay. Fair Thank enough. You. We'll create the note for you later. <laughs> uh, we, won't, we, won't, we won't actually leave this uh, Miro board public after today. It'll just be a resource for us. So it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll sift our way through it. 
you just made my work harder, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let, let's move on to the second stream, which are um, um, use cases. And as we consolidated all the input we had, we had those three use cases, yep. which are now off the page, so I can't remember them. There we go. Um, yeah, so the first one was, uh, there was a view that we should have a, a generic sort of overarching use case for infrastructure, which um, then can um, be, uh, create a framework or a, a starting point for more specific use cases. Uh, there was another one around data requirements for infra operations. Uh, and that really does tie, I think, conceptually into the um, AOH program, the project which is happening. But um, um, it's still a use case. And then the other one was support for BIM and GIS. So if we can do the same process there, just quickly um, flag the ones, might be all three, might only be one of them, that uh, you think are important. And uh, if you have any other um, use cases that you want to put on the board, then that's, that's, um, that aren't covered by that, then just do it with a quick note. So we've only got three, three choices, three options this time. Um, yeah, but the same principle applies. Straight. You can vote for all three, you can vote for none. Or, or you put a note on the side and we'll work it out later. <laughs> it's actually quite entertaining just to watch the people dancing around. So that number at the top, John, where it says 12, is that the number of people? Uh, I think we've got 12 people in the board, actually, Jim. Right. Yep. Oh, 12 people in the board altogether, so. Yeah. Maybe plus, yeah, a couple of admins. A couple of editors as well. 12 guests, two editors. So we're also looking for additional proposals in the in the use case yes, space. Yes. Uh, if people don't um, like the sound of these three, or would like. Well, it was interesting when we opened the question up for use cases yesterday, um, in the handover asset operations handover project, we had lots from the floor. Um, we don't need necessarily specific use cases at this moment, but if there are areas where we should be developing use cases or thinking about use cases, then that's useful. I think it's really clear from yesterday's session on asset operations handover that there's going to be a lot of work to be done in that area over the next 12 months. And Ronald's just the man to do it. <laughs> So I think activity is slowing down, Jim. There's one or two people still moving about on the appropriate part of the board. But you should have a, a parking point, shouldn't we? Where we, we should really, Where yeah. people go yeah. when you're finished. So the I, IFC support for BIM and GIS is quite popular. We've got some very small post-its, which I don't know whether you can see on the big screen. Um, in the, still in count the, as votes. Yeah. Which one was that, Tristan? The um, uh, IFC support for BIM and GIS. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting off the topic a little bit, but I was very encouraged by some of the work that's being done in that area. Hmm. Practical applications linking the two. It's good to see that happening. Okay. Yeah. We're just. We're just we're, yeah. You're right. So there's there's quite a few post-its in there, aren't there? When you you really zoom in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for that. Okay, are we ready to move on? I, I think we are, probably, Jim. I think so. I, yeah. I'm not getting any negatives from the floor, so let's, let's go on to the next one. 
we might even get through this quickly. It's four o'clock. So, uh, where are we? Next one. This is the Infra Extension Projects. Ah, right. Well, there's the, in, in a sense, I'm not sure what you're voting for here. I guess we're voting for saying, yes, this is a project we really ought to be supporting. Um, mind you, it's no point um, saying that without putting money on the table. Well, there is point in saying it without putting money on the table, but none of these activities will go ahead without industry support, stakeholder funding. So, but um, these are the acti these are the projects that we've been reported this week and um, in the last two days, and uh, let, let's see how important we think they are. So, it's three to choose from again, Jim. Yes, yeah, three to choose from. Yeah. So, uh, the. Um, asset Operations Handover Framework acti um, Activity Proposal. That's, that's been a subject of a workshop already yesterday. Um, the Maritime Project is kind of on hold at the moment because the, the team and the support for that have, have um, how do you put this politely, it is kind of hasn't forged ahead in the way we'd hoped. And so that's, that's looking for support. Um, and the IFC for Site, Landscape and Urban Planning has been around since 2020, um, but need, really needs some champions to make it go forward. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we can do that, yeah. If you've got the link, the board is available. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a... Um, anyone who's got the link can access the board. Okay. Yeah. At, at, we do, we, at some point, we, we won't necessarily close the board, but um, there'll be a point where we stop looking at new, new content. That's any issue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I can't imagine doing it on a phone, but I'm impressed with those of you who are trying. <laughs> And if, and if there are other uh, project ideas, n none of the workshops came up with project ideas per se, um, but at the same time, we're not anxious to take on more than, you know, we, we can't take on any more ideas at one level, but it's good to have the idea there so that we, we can think, oh, yeah, so that's something we need to look at going forward. But at the moment, we do have to consolidate what we've got and... That, that was a message that came through very clearly in the workshops. Almost every workshop came up with that statement. But let's not um, invent anything new at this stage. Let's bed down what we have. I think, I think some people have moved on to the next work stream. I yep. think uh, we, we're, getting a, we're getting a division on the board as some people <laughs> continue to work on the third work stream and some have moved on to the fourth or... Even the fifth. So, so they've got the idea, they want to go home. Yeah, yes. I think some, some people are keen to, so, to, yeah, that's not to a finish drama. the day. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll see how we go. So the, the next one is the IFC technical development support. They were, the, the things we put into that stream were issues that we thought were raised by members of the workshop but were um, not specifically a responsibility of the infrastructure room. They're things that are technical issues that need to be addressed in the wider um, BSI community through the technical room or through the um, um, technical support. But um, what we want to push, we need to encourage. So we had things like um, managing software inconsistencies. And that's the old issue with um, um, tools not being able to share information effectively and you're getting loss of information when you uh, move around between software tools. It's been an issue for a long time and anything that we can do to improve that situation is what we're looking at for there. Uh, standardized validation processes, well that's, a pro that's, in, that's in process at the moment. The um, BSI are very actively looking at those processes and uh, but we need to support them and, and encourage that to happen for our domain. And I've now forgotten what the third one, oh there it is. Our design design. The design to design is a, a really tricky one because it's a, uh, we keep on 
pushing it into the background because there are more urgent um, issues to discuss. But um, uh, the whole, uh, how, how effectively can we move between design tools and you know, the issue of round tripping. I should get Marek started on that topic, but I shouldn't. <laughs> De design to design looks like a very popular um, um, area. There's lots of people making comments or adding post-it notes to that particular circle. Well, be warned, if you put your post-it note in there, I'll be knocking on your door saying, well, you help us do it. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I Sorry, I'll give, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you the mic because I'm not quite hearing what you're saying. So, so, so if we create an IFC file, generate it, let's say, after a design step and then share it, we can, of course, federate it, we can check it, but then using that, it would be another IFC to be generated. IFC cannot be changed in the, in the biggest part of that. So design to design is a bit contradicting with the, with the data scheme, in, in a sense. Well, the other, the other reason why design to design is working. Maybe it was... The other challenge with design to design is that your point is correct. That, you know, effectively, it's a PDF, it's a snapshot in time of a, of a design. Um, and actually, it's quite a valuable use case, because you were saying, I'm, I've shared something with you you can use this instance of the design, and it is, for want of a better term, immutable, as you said. That's the one you're going to use. You, and it's very hard to change the IFC because nobody can, there's not, I think there's only like one or two people who can actually read an IFC and edit it natively. Um, the design to design problem is different because in software, you have uh, rules and intelligence that create the geometry. So what you, you output, solids, um, so for civil 3D, you would effectively design a bit of road, for example, and then you create solids from that, and those solids are what you export as IFC. But civil 3D retains all of the calculation of the geometry that you can amend in the model. So if I were to send you the IFC, it's missing all of that, all the parameters and all the rules to edit the design, because it's, it's just not carried at all, because I, IFC doesn't have that capacity at the moment. Design to design is quite vital for, for uh, as an owner perspective, to review the design. So it's, it's usually in the design report how things are connected, how things are built up. But there is also a use case where we want to, to export that information from the design software. How are the rules applied? What are the, the guiding lines? What are the cross-sections? What are the, uh, the tables that you've been using? So we can uh, review it and store it, but maybe not as a design to design, maybe design to design report or something like that. So it's not it's not exactly the same. But. So for, yeah, and just on that, I've, I've been doing stuff with um, national highways in the UK, and national highways have what they call the ADMM, the Asset Data Management Manual. And that is a rule set. So they have an ambition to put that as a cloud service. So when a designer is developing, let's say, the highway, because that's what it is for them, that they would con connect to the cloud service of the ADMM and find the appropriate standard and take down any kind of parameters or data, the highway system would record that Marek Sohotsky had logged in pulled that parameter at this time. Um, so the client knows which standards you've used um, to develop where your design is. So it, it gives confidence. <laughs> yeah, but, but it, it's a complex one because there's so much information that would need to be um, transferred. Last, comment. Yeah, last, last one from my side on, on this one. Uh, we, uh, agreed, and, and maybe it's to start with how do we actually communicate through the design steps? And that I think ties in well with the previous ones on the project management processes, where I added the comment that indeed we also need to look at the information management standards. Because then we could actually, 
well, we, we might not be able to solve the immuti immutability of the IFC scheme at this moment, but we can think of how can we have a processmatic workaround for that. There is two, two aspects in the question. The question of project management uh, uh, is not, uh, uh, and the knowledge is not on the IFC, it's, it's on, 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 on how will you proceed to manage the status of the information. It's not in the IFC, it's, it is in the collaborative platform. Yeah, exactly, exactly what I want to say. But you have another one thing, what you ask, I think I, I asked to be clarified, what does it mean? design to design, because there is another one topic is not to share information for the same level, is to share the information with two different disciplines. Yeah. Uh, typically, uh, from uh, 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 from structure, uh, to, to recalculate the structure. And that the question is totally different, because you have to extract the information in the perspective of what is the design the conceptual model of the structural uh, software so so it's, it's, it's another one topic totally different and what you, what we need at the moment is to be able to extract from mvd we can say like that uh, uh, the way of typically uh, 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 the, the geometry of a structure to how uh, 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 calculate, uh, uh, structure calculation system uh, has to understood that it is a totally different model. So that is um, another one topic. It's not a question to maintain up, uh, and th then you have to come back to the same model at the end with modification. But that means that is another one topic. Huh? Yeah, we have to take care about what we are saying about that. Thank you, Oli. I want to stop that if I can. Um, my original comment about design design was because there are so many different aspects to it. So that exchange between disciplines is a good one, uh, and it certainly applies in infrastructure. And all the stuff we heard this morning about the tunnel and geotechnics, that's a very good example. I mean, you don't hold the, you don't, the person on the site who encounters the rock face that you're tunneling through doesn't have the expertise to know whether that's you know, how that's impacted by the knowledge of the geotechnical engineer brings to the table. And so you need that, you need to be able to get back to that information. So it, there's a very lot, lot of complex issues there, which, you know, what do we try and keep in IFC and what do we accept is outside of IFC. Anyway, I think we should move on. So we're now, people, people are rapidly up to white papers. Um, so I can remind you to if you have any other thoughts, if, you, if these, this list has triggered any other ideas, then put them in as they won't be ignored. We'll discover them and we'll add them to the list. At some point, we're going to have to prioritize ourselves. That's the responsibility that lies on the infra room steering committee um, to wade through all of this. But the more input we get from the community, the better our decision making can be. That's... So as you say, Jim, we've got people um, already giving, uh, putting post-it notes on the white, the white paper streams, the new ideas streams, yep. uh, including some interesting comments. Um, application of IDS and UCM service uh, has got create IDS based on storylines, use cases from infrastructure um, or rail, I think that is. And we've got other comments that I'm just going to focus in on so we can read them. No, I emphasize the idea of the white paper is it's a theme that needs to be investigated. So what we see is that we'll establish a little working group, not just members of the steering committee, or to say, we'll try and draw in members of the community who have some expertise in that particular area and can help to work together to formulate a position um, that's, that's the idea. And that may well lead to a, um, you know, a, a guideline statement, um, but it also becomes a source of, of knowledge for our community. Activity in the white paper yeah, area at the no, moment, as we can yep, see. We're, we're doing well. We're, yeah. Everyone's anxious to... The, the, the last stream there, I don't think we need, well, the last stream is about um, outreach. 
and there's two ideas there, but if you have any other ideas, I'm not asking you to prioritize those, but um, uh, if you have any other thoughts on, on what we as a steering committee need to do in order to reach out better to the community, then <laughs> Tristan is all ears. <laughs> He's our outreach communication fellow. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome comments. <laughs> You, you look like you're dressed darkly in a very dark place, Tristan. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quite. It's hot, uh, quarter past nine here, so it is. It is dark, but it is a, a quite a dark room. Um, so, yeah, apologies for that. Well, thanks. Thanks for joining us in the evening. Appreciate that. Oh, no problem. That's great. I mean, yeah, it, it seems to be lots of activity in the mirror board. That's good. Lots of useful ideas and direction for us to take on board. Someone's added a comment to the um, last one. Yeah, do you, do you want me to have a look at that? I need you at home, John, to help me navigate these things. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not an expert, that's for sure. International. Uh, pre presence at Open International Marketing Infrastructure Arena. The, the so infrastructure <laughs> room to have a presence at the open international marketing infrastructure arena by like InnoTrans. Is that ITA. A, um, a bid for um, open open BIM? Yeah. So it sounds it? like it sounds BIM. like a good idea. That someone someone likes someone's put a, yeah. a thumbs up on it. Yeah. I see Christoph's finally found his way to the board. I'm, I'm impressed, Christoph. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how much activity we've still got. Still a few people moving around. Still Rhea is still busy. Christoph. But everyone's on the right hand side of the board we're, we're either looking at work streams or uh not work streams at white papers they're all they're all work streams potentially um or we're looking in the communication space maybe give people five more minutes just to yeah, finish up. yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm disappointed to see that jim's not there anywhere he's really slack <laughs> <laughs> Oh, only if you have the energy. Don't it, the the information's there. It's going to help us. Or we'll just drag the post it over. It doesn't really matter. I can see a handful of names there, the people that um, aren't in the room. I'm sure there are more than I'm identifying, so that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, with the yeah. limitations attached to it. Mm. So you're saying the visiting visiting creator might be more than one person. Yeah. Has a tag. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you can get a good overview from when we're looking at the whole the whole of this area of the board, um, where most of the activity and the comments and the post it notes have been placed. Yeah. Um not too surprisingly, in the first one that we looked at, they had about ten options, and the and the uh, the white papers that had about, well, probably a similar number of options as well. I notice that this character isn't doing very much; he's just sitting in blank space. <laughs> Let's pause there, and um, we've still got um, forty minutes if we want to use it. Um, I'm interested in getting um, any other comments, verbal comments, either from um, our remote audience and also from the room both about the process and uh, whether you think you know, how you think we're progressing with it 
um, whether you've got any thoughts on um, on uh, even the process this afternoon. But um, I'm interested in feedback. I think if they if they're online, can we give them? Can we open their mics if they flag a desire to contribute or no? Okay. So if you're online, uh, any comments in the chat would be helpful to us. So if any of you want to um, have any thoughts that you want to add, either to the content or the process. It's a content or process. <laughs> Someone sacked Jim. No, no, no. <laughs> Hello, Tristan. Uh, so I, I work together with Tristan and Phil also in the, in the very initial uh, roadmap. And, I don't think uh, you're being picked up. No? Yeah, I can hear Roland. Yeah. All right. Okay, good, good. I work together on the very initial uh, stadium of the roadmap. So I I really uh, are happy to see how, how far you went now. So it is really, you made really made some progress and there are interesting ideas that I really like. And um, so, um, so congratulations with that, first of all. And, and what, what I was thinking um, when uh, looking at, at all these uh, proposals is, um, so how can we, um, uh, how, we, how can we make the, 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 um, the, the, uh, the next steps uh, close to, to the end user, uh, the, someone who is not really involved in IC Policy 3, so that everyone can understand what we mean. Eh? If you're talking about education or specific uh, subjects, so uh, what, what kind of roles uh, should, uh, should be able to understand what we mean and how can we have practical examples to, uh, to help them? So that I think that will be very useful now in this stadium, uh, now, now, now that we have to develop IC Policy 3 and everything. So, uh, so I, I would really encourage that to, to have such kind of examples and maybe a platform of best practices or tools of link to tools you can use for, uh, for self-validating uh, your files or something like that. So that would, I would really, really encourage that. I'm going to wave my own flag near. Um, one of the ideas, not my idea, but one of the ideas that came out of the Australasian workshop was this idea of a repository of exemplar projects. And I thought that was a very simple but effective idea. And I think that backs up what you just said. Um, we need to give people access to practical knowledge about what's going on and what's, you know, where, where the success points are, as well as educating them about how IFC works. And Christoph made some comments yesterday. One, one was mind, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm going to use this opportunity. I need you to put me in contact with the right people. And we need to. Uh, just a, a comment that I've been involved in uh, SEN, European Standards Committee Working Group 6, which has been for infrastructure. And we've prepared a survey report of the European infrastructure market around standards adoption. Uh, and whether or not it's a reflection for, uh, for us to consider from the IFC side, what, what came through is even though we contacted a notionally expert audience, the adoption of uh, standards like ISO 19650 was relatively low. So let's say 25%. Um, and uh, about half the respondents said they use common data environment solutions, so a, a tool like Autodesk Docs. But it does mean that the market itself is not necessarily using digital tools um, widespread. Um, and, not, and we're introducing now IFC as an opportunity for the market. Um, so I think the comments around communication perhaps are very important because if all we do is talk to the people who are aware and interested, then it will remain a kind of a specialist or a sideline act. And I'm just wondering how we can, uh, whether it was like a, an infrastructure event or so, actually get there and actually be heard and talk about this stuff because actually it still feels a little bit like it's for the, the, the building smart geeks. Uh, 
proposed one uh, item on the outreach that it was to be present at at uh, uh, what do you say infrastructure market arena uh, like Innotrans, ITA World uh, Tunnel Conference, uh, other types of you say that's what we mean. approach the market rather than trying to get the market to come to us. Uh, so we go to these areas where they have road conferences or, or uh, road uh, uh, collaboration uh, meetings and stuff like that to actually meet and find people that is in the, in the area, not just the ones that are champion IFC and standards uh, at, at uh, meet the, the rest of the team. Uh, out in the market so hopefully that might be a way of of expanding the finding more people involved mm -hmm. and also giving the, those that is the champions in their uh, in their uh, companies more support also to be present I, I think that's been um, dare I say it more successful than I did believe it would be so thank you very much for your cooperation I was a bit nervous about how this might go. So um, thank you. I think we're probably at the end of the session. We give ourselves a half hour early mark. So thank you very much. I noticed the hero is nodding. I don't know whether he's falling asleep or whether he's um, agreeing. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's the uh, the last of the infrastructure room sessions um, at this summit. So thank you very much for attending today and um, on yesterday as well, and for also visiting the other room sessions, no doubt. Um, we're back in the main hall tomorrow, the room that we had the plenary day in on Tuesday, uh, and it's a half past nine start tomorrow. Uh, I don't know why they've given us a bit more time to get into the room. It, Maybe people are going to go out for something to eat and drink tonight, perhaps. Who knows? Um, so enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks, Tristan. Thanks, all. Take yeah. care. Have a good evening. Cheers. Bye. Bye.